it was the very first object that visited our vicinity in the solar system from outside the solar system. It moved too fast to be bound to the sun. Very first object that we have found coming to us from interstellar space, from other places. Humans have been exploring space for decades now. Normally, we're the ones that go visit the far ends of the solar system and beyond to discover things that we can't with a regular telescope. The general idea is that these things exist. They're there in space. And we just have to go and find them. But with the discovery of Oumuamua, all of that changed. The unbelievable visitor from deep space has been talked about a lot for the past few weeks. This object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled. But now, the James Webb Telescope just revealed the real image of the space giant. And well, it's unveiled things that no one saw coming. Join us as we dig deeper into this image and how the discovery of Oumuamua has changed the world of science and space. Oumuamua is a strange and interesting object, to say the least. It emerged from the depths of space and made the entire world stop in its tracks. As soon as the object was confirmed, everyone wanted to know more about it, because nothing like this had ever been discovered before. This elongated, cigar-shaped visitor arrived in our solar system from a distant realm beyond our own. It's basically a mysterious interstellar traveler venturing through the vastness of space to pay us a fleeting visit. Its particularly strange appearance, which kind of looks like a slender cigar, or as some like to call it, a cosmic needle, makes it unlike anything we have encountered before. This extraordinary discovery unfolded on October 19, 2017, when the PanStars-1 telescope in Hawaii gazed into the night sky and revealed the presence of Oumuamua. It was a monumental event, as this marked the first time astronomers detected an object originating from outside our solar system, and even crazier was the fact that it actually made it all the way into our solar system and was headed straight for Earth. Oumuamua's unexpected arrival was probably one of the biggest things that had ever happened, and it was extremely important to dive deeper into it because it seemed like the key to unlocking the mysteries of our cosmic surroundings. That's why a real image of it is such a big deal. But an image isn't where they're going to stop. Scientists have made arrangements to utilize the remarkable James Webb Space Telescope for studying interstellar objects as they pass through our solar system. Oumuamua being the first. One of the telescope's exceptional strengths lies in its ability to gather and analyze infrared light, making it an invaluable tool for this particular investigation. Equipped with state-of-the-art high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments, the Webb Telescope possesses an unrivaled capability to observe objects that are too old, distant, or faint for other telescopes to capture. This extraordinary sensitivity and power create a unique opportunity for scientists to dive headfirst into the mysteries of interstellar objects, unveiling their chemical composition and unraveling their true nature. All of this is pretty much impossible to study from Earth if you just look at the objects without actually getting a super detailed look at them. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced suite of infrared cameras adds an extra layer of precision to the portrait of interstellar objects. With its keen eye, the telescope is able to render intricate details and nuances, painting a vivid picture of these captivating celestial visitors as they venture within our observational range. So even if you're not getting actual photos that are in one piece, it's able to put hundreds, if not thousands of images together to create one mega image that has every little detail you would ever need to see. Because it's capable of capturing the faintest and most elusive aspects of these interstellar objects, the Webb Telescope enables scientists to conduct groundbreaking research and unravel the secrets that lie hidden within the depths of the cosmos. But that's just the start, though. The Webb Telescope actually extends the frontiers of exploration by allowing scientists to look into the depths of space at magnitudes or brightness levels that were previously impossible. This opens up a realm of truly fascinating scientific inquiries, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding of the universe. 
This is why they ended up picking the James Webb Telescope and not the Pan-STARRS-1 Telescope to do this further research. That doesn't mean that the Pan-STARRS-1 Telescope isn't good at what it does. It's just that the two are fairly different. The University of Hawaii's Pan-STARRS-1 Telescope stands as a remarkable astronomical instrument stationed at the summit of Haleakala on the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. With its 1.8-meter diameter, this telescope plays a vital role in the ambitious Pan-STARRS project, a collaborative effort involving esteemed institutions such as the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, MIT Lincoln Laboratory, Maui High Performance Computing Center, and Science Applications International Corporation. At its core, the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope is designed for wide-field astronomical imaging, offering a panoramic view of space. Its primary mission is to conduct comprehensive surveys of the night sky, capturing the beauty of celestial objects in optical wavelengths. From distant galaxies and swirling nebulae to elusive comets and asteroids, the telescope tirelessly scans the cosmos, documenting the wonders that populate our vast universe. To handle the immense volume of data collected during these surveys, the PanSTARRS-1 telescope relies on the ingenious PS-1, Image Processing Pipeline, IPP. This cutting-edge software automatically processes and analyzes vast amounts of observational data, extracting valuable insights and enabling astronomers to make groundbreaking discoveries. The power of advanced algorithms and computational techniques come together to play a pivotal role in uncovering the secrets hidden within the multitude of celestial images captured by PanSTARRS-1. One of the most remarkable facets of the PanSTARRS-1 telescope is its involvement in the PanSTARRS Near-Earth Object Survey. This ambitious project focuses on systematically scanning the entire sky north of declination minus 47.5 diligently searching for near-Earth objects that may pose a potential hazard to our planet. Which is why it was the one to find Oumuamua in the first place. It wasn't exactly scanning for that particular object. Instead, it was just doing its job and ended up finding Oumuamua in the process. Initially, the researchers were under the impression that an approaching asteroid was headed toward Earth. That's fairly normal. When an unidentified space object is detected orbiting the Sun, it's typically classified as an asteroid. Thus, Oumuamua was initially categorized as one because of its appearance and behavior. It was a strange rock, hurtling through the solar system so that classification made sense. However, as the collected data was processed and analyzed, it became clear that this mysterious interstellar traveler was unlike any ordinary asteroid. It defied expectations by abruptly altering its trajectory raising intriguing questions about its true nature. But this is where things took a turn. The situation became increasingly urgent due to Oumuamua's rapid speeds through our solar system. Time was of the essence, and the researchers faced a daunting challenge. They had a mere 11 days to gather as much information as possible about this peculiar visitor before it ended up being way too far to study anymore. With each passing day, the opportunity to collect data got less and less, emphasizing the need for swift and efficient analysis. The pressure was mounting, knowing that any delay could potentially hinder their understanding of this extraordinary phenomenon. And, well, if there's any department that knows how to use time the right way, it's NASA. So they just decided to bring in the big guns. To shed light on Oumuamua's characteristics, the ESO's very large telescope in Chile came into the picture. The formidable instrument was tasked with accurately measuring the object's dimensions, capturing its orbit, and investigating its color and brightness. Every minute detail of the rock's surface and structure became of paramount importance. Considering this was an object that no one had ever even imagined before, it was crucial that the researchers at least captured as much data as possible, because that way, they could just process and study it later too. But once Oumuamua left the solar system, there might not be another opportunity to get the information again. So this was the time to bring in every researcher, every instrument that could gather data, and studying it would be more of a phase two thing here. Now, while one might assume that the acquisition of detailed information would bring clarity and get rid of most of the confusion surrounding mysterious rock, the opposite ended up happening. 
As the details emerged, the questions surrounding Oumuamua only deepened. The unique attributes and puzzling behavior of this interstellar visitor continued to confound researchers, leaving them with more questions than answers. When we normally think about a space rock, whether it's an asteroid or a comet, our mind typically creates an image of a round or at least somewhat spherical object. This expectation isn't really that far off, as most celestial bodies in space tend to adopt spherical shapes. And the reason behind this lies in the gravitational forces at play. Within an object, the atoms are typically attracted to a single gravitational pull, like that of the Sun or most other massive celestial bodies. This gravitational pull keeps the atoms compact and spherical. But that's not all. The harsh conditions of the open space, characterized by debris, gases, and pressure, further reinforce the tendency for objects to maintain a spherical form. Keeping these common characteristics in mind, one of the most confusing aspects of Oumuamua was its unconventional shape. It deviated significantly from the expected spherical or even irregular shape associated with typical space objects. Instead, Oumuamua appeared as an elongated structure, resembling a colossal space cigar. The sheer size of this interstellar traveler was equally mind-boggling with a radius of approximately 200 meters and a length 10 times greater than its width. Such proportions were unprecedented, especially within our solar system, which spans a vast diameter of 287.46 billion kilometers. This made Oumuamua an extraordinary outlier, truly one in almost 3 billion. Adding to the confusion, researchers discovered that Oumuamua exhibited a distinct reddish hue, this reddish coloration is often observed in objects located within the outer regions of our solar system, primarily attributed to the presence of surrounding dust. But you see, Oumuamua wasn't done being the ultimate source of confusion. Turns out it had no traces of dust whatsoever. It appeared to be composed solely of rock and metals, devoid of water, ice, or any of the other typical components found in celestial bodies. When you consider its substantial size and composition, you might assume that Oumuamua would be going through space at a fairly leisurely pace. However, the reality was quite the opposite. Once again, this massive space cigar defied expectations once again by hurtling through the solar system at an astonishing speed of 85,700 miles per hour. Its velocity wasn't constant, fluctuating throughout its journey. The reasons behind the firstly, the gravitational pull of the sun exerted its influence drawing Oumuamua closer. But then there was a second mysterious force, invisible to our eyes, that appeared to be actively propelling or steering the interstellar object, which is something that doesn't usually happen. This is where even more questions started to pop up. Was Oumuamua being controlled by an unknown entity? Or maybe it was being steered from within? But the first question the researchers had to tackle was where it even came from. Through careful analysis of its speed and trajectory, scientists were able to trace Oumuamua's origins back to the vicinity of the star Vega, the brightest star in the northern constellation of Lyra. But the immense duration of its interstellar voyage meant that Oumuamua hadn't actually been in proximity to Vega for at least 300,000 years, despite traveling at an average speed of 59,000 miles per hour. Additionally, because of the vast timescales involved, Vega itself may not have been present in the region when Oumuamua passed through. Since the origin wasn't really confirmed at this point, the search for it went on. One study proposes a fascinating hypothesis, suggesting that Oumuamua is likely a fragment that originated from a larger celestial body. The catastrophic event that led to its creation occurred when the gravitational forces during a close encounter with its home star tore it apart. This theory, put forward by the study's authors, provides a plausible explanation for the extraordinary characteristics exhibited by Oumuamua, further deepening the theories surrounding its nature. Another noteworthy study, published in Nature Astronomy, presents a more comprehensive explanation for the formation of objects resembling Oumuamua under the influence of tidal forces similar to those experienced by Earth's oceans. Using advanced computer simulations, the authors of this research 
demonstrate how their theoretical framework aligns with all the anomalous attributes displayed by Umuamua. Their findings offer valuable insights into the mechanisms that shape such interstellar visitors, adding another layer to our understanding of what exists beyond our solar system. But in the pursuit of unraveling Umuamua's secrets, not all hypotheses find support from all researchers involved. A study led by Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb challenges the theory that Umuamua could be a nitrogen iceberg originating from another solar system entirely. Loeb's research provides an alternative perspective. It's that Umuamua may be a relic of a planetesimal, sharing similarities with comets found within our solar system. This intriguing proposition broadens the scope of possibilities, hinting at the diverse origins and composition of objects that are present in interstellar space. While there are all of these potential answers, there aren't really any confirmations on them. What's worse is that Oumuamua passed the orbit of Earth on October 14, 2017, coming astonishingly close at a distance of approximately 0.1618 astronomical units, equivalent to approximately 15.04 million miles from our planet. Although it remained undeterred by its encounter with Earth and continued its extraordinary journey, venturing further into the depths of our solar system. In January 2019, it left our solar system, setting a course toward the distant constellation of Pegasus instead. Plus, as it got further and further away from the Earth, it got faster. So it disappeared from the view a lot faster than anyone expected. Plus, its speed was extremely hard to keep track of, as it keeps on changing, sometimes within seconds, now it's up to the James Webb Space Telescope to find out more information about the mysterious asteroid, information that goes beyond what we already know. Considering this instrument has even retrieved information from 28 billion light years away, it's going to be more than capable of retrieving data from the Pegasus constellation, which is only 700 light years away from Earth. But what do you think? Is the James Webb Space Telescope really up for the job? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.